Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular DE as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, side length uh, AC is uh, 6 units whereas this perpendicular DE is 2 units and moreover this segment uh, AE equals to this segment uh, EB and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. Since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case for this triangle uh, ABC, this uh, side uh, AC is uh, our base. And this uh, BC is uh, our height. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, BC. Let's assume this uh, side length uh, AE is uh, lowercase a, then this uh, segment EB is going to be lowercase a as well. And let's assume this uh, side length uh, is uh, lowercase b. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, b. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, angle uh, is uh, alpha, and we can see this angle is 90 degrees. So for this triangle ABC, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And now in this uh, triangle uh, AED, this angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degrees. Uh, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. So therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, smaller triangle uh, AED is similar to this uh, bigger triangle uh, ABC according to angle uh, angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. So therefore we are going to have a ratio of uh, AE and uh, DE equal to the ratio of uh, AC and this side uh, BC as you can see in this uh, equation. And now we can see our AE length uh, is lowercase a, DE length uh, is uh, 2, AC length uh, is uh, 6 and our BC length is uh, lowercase b. So therefore we can write down a divided by 2 equals to 6 divided by lowercase b. And now let's multiply both sides by 2 to isolate a. And we can see over here 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore a turns out to be equal to 12 divided by b. Let me call this our equation number one. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, length uh, AB is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual lengths. So, so the AB length is going to be A plus A is going to make uh, two times A. And now let's focus once again on this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC whose uh, side lengths are uh, 6, B and 2 times A. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 2 times A. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to be B square plus uh, 6 uh, square equal to 2 times A whole uh, square. And now let's focus on A. We know from this equation 1, A equals to 12 divided by B. So therefore, I'm going to replace this A by 12 divided by B over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, A by 12 divided by B. 
And now let's simplify the right hand side. 12 square is going to be 144 times 4 is going to give us 576 on the numerator. So therefore we can write b square plus 36 equal to 576 divided by b square. And now in this uh, next step, let's assume that b square equals to x. In other words, I'm going to put b square equal to x. So therefore, our equation is going to become x plus 36 equal to 576 divided by x. And now let's multiply across the board by x to remove this fraction. So therefore we are going to get x times x is going to become x square plus 36 x equals to and here x and x cancel out. So we're going to get 576 on the right hand side. Let's move this 576 on the left hand side. So therefore we are going to have x square plus 36 x minus 576 equal to 0. And now we can see we got this quadratic equation and we are going to solve for x by grouping and factoring method. You may use a quadratic formula if you wish so. And now let's focus on this constant 576. And here I have copied it down. And now 576 could be broken down to 24 times 24. And now we can break this 24 down to 12 times 2. And now we can see 2 times 24 is going to give us 48. And here we got 12. So therefore 576 could be written as 48 times 12 and now let's focus on this uh, middle terms 36 x uh, we can uh, tweak this thing we can write this thing uh, as uh, 48 uh, x minus uh, 12 x as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this uh, 36 x uh, by this one and here for this uh, first two term x is in common and for this uh, next uh, two terms uh, negative 12 is in common. So therefore we are going to have x times x plus 48 and then minus 12 times x plus 48 equals to 0 on the right hand side. And here we can see these factors are identical. So therefore we can write x minus 12 times x plus 48 equals to 0. Let's break them down. We are going to have x minus 12 equal to 0 and the next factor is going to be x plus 48 equal to 0. And for this first equation x is going to be equal to positive 12. For this next equation x is going to be equal to negative 48 and now we know b square equals to x so therefore wherever we see x i'm going to replace it uh, by b square so therefore uh, this first equation is going to become b square equals to 12 and over here this is going to be b square equal to negative 48 and now let's take uh, square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our b value is going to become 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now this scenario is not possible when we take the square root. Uh, the square root of negative 48 is not going to be a real number. So therefore this scenario is uh, rejected. So therefore our b value turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 3. So therefore our b value turns out to be 2 times square root of 3 units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this blue triangle ABC. 
And now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base times height. And in our case, our base is 6 and our height is 2 times square root of 3. So therefore, the area of this blue triangle is going to be a half times base is 6 times height is 2 times square root of 3. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, the area is going to be 6 times square root of 3 square units. So thus the area of this uh, blue triangle turns out to be 6 times square root of 3 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 10.4 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.